Hi everyone and uh, welcome to my beginner series on the process of designing the artwork that you need to print your own fabric. If you've ever heard of print your own fabric and you want to give it a go, this video series is for you. Um, this is for beginners like me who've had no digital art experience before. If you're an experienced Photoshopper, um, while you find the process helpful, uh, obviously you'll need to add in your own um, uh, special photos. Photoshop skills and things into into the mix, but the process will be helpful. Um, obviously, my digital art experience is not probably up to yours if you are um, very experienced with that. Um, it's a fairly simplistic explanation, as I said, aimed at people that just want to learn how to get their fabric um, fabric printed and have a play with des with designs. Um, when I was learning, I found that there was just a lot of videos that just didn't have the information that I needed. There was lots of design videos, there was lots of videos on how to make a seamless tile, but nothing to do with exactly what I needed. So here we are. It was a lot of hard work and I made a lot of mistakes and I thought I would be able to share some of those with you because, you know, um, uh, I know what you're going to do wrong. Let's go with that. Um, so lots of tips and tricks and things to help you get started with that. Uh, for those that want, there are lots of, um, uh, I guess, advanced graphic design videos around on um, more advanced techniques, which I can link to help you find. But this is just about getting your stuff onto fabric. Um, so here's a couple of things that I have um, I have done. So this is one of the very, very first um, prints I did, the gymnastics one, for my little girl. Um, and we had a little bit of a whoopsie with that the first time we got that printed. It wasn't 100% my fault. There was a printer error as well. But um, yeah, we had some issues with that. And um, here's a nutcracker. Um, these are actually panels. These are, these are nutcracker panels. Um, that are designed as panels for dresses. And then there's another, another set that has... Um, the uh, bodice parts on it as well and here is the um, what it looks like up on the screen this is Toil's Tile Tester um, go through that and there's just a couple of other designs and things that I have been uh, working on and this is the actual square that you need to create to send to the printer so we're going to be looking at how to turn a blank page into this and then this into this and then that obviously into the fabric. So we're going to cover where to get the art, um, some legal stuff to do with that as well, what software you need. Uh, we're using free software and easy to find software, not Photoshop. Um, so Inkscape, Critter um, and GIMP. How to import the art into a program, how to design the art how to turn art into a tiling, repeating, seamless pattern, looking at creating the at panels themselves if you want to create those, how to check the size um, it prints as we all get this wrong the first time around, how to export the file, and um, a couple of places that you can get it printed. So if you want to um, hit subscribe and we'll let you know when the next video in the series comes out, uh, please ask any questions down below in the comments or um, questions, suggestions, or links to anything else that you think other people might find helpful. And um, we will get on with um, creating the next video and hopefully help you guys out there just looking at um, getting started into designing your own fabric. It's really addictive, can I just say. And um, we've got a lot of things I'm working on at the moment for um, uh, printing in the next couple of weeks, and I'm really excited. My little girl is just like, mummy, 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 print this, make this for me. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> she gets a real kick of, um, you know, walking out and something says, oh, I designed this fabric. And she really likes that. So um, we can have a little bit of a look and um, hopefully you guys will be able to learn some stuff from this video series. See you later.